reporting. Thanks, Jeff. Ambassador Mark Irwin's newest book comes out in May and highlights successful people who went from struggle to great achievement and shares tips that can help you and I to do the same. Well, for five decades, the old Goodyear service building in Uptown across from the Charlotte Observer was a place you could get a new set of tires or an oil change, but it's slated for demolition to make room for a new high rise. As Carolina Impact's Jason Terzis reports, local artists are giving the soon to be demolished building one last hurrah. At the corner of Stonewall and Tryon, you'll find a rather unlikely art gallery. Most people remember this building as the Goodyear Automotive Center. It opened in 1959 and served customers for 55 years until finally closing up shop in December of 2014. Crescent Communities now owns the building, the land, and the rest of the block with the goal of transforming it into Uptown's newest hotspot. But with a significant gap between the time Goodyear moved out and bulldozers move in, Crescent decided it didn't want the building to just sit empty. One of the sort of ideas that came out of that planning process is we should have a series of events at the Goodyear building and really invite the broader community to come in and talk to us about what they felt Charlotte needed. That's when Amy Bagwell and Amy Herman, both instructors at Central Piedmont Community College, showed up to a small gathering. At that party, I gave a very, very short talk about what Charlotte creatives really needed and how maybe the developers, real estate agents, et cetera, who were in the room could help. After hearing proposals and discussing options, Crescent and its partners agreed to let artists take the building over, and they'd even help foot the bill. In addition to keeping the doors open, they agreed to supply three one-month paid artist residencies, with each artist getting $1,000 to spend however they'd like. The Artist in Residence project was officially born. When we first walked in the building, I fell in love with it immediately. I got attached to the building immediately. My granddad used to run the Goodyear Service Center. So it kind of was immediately I wanted to be a part of it. Since the project began last summer, all sorts of things have been created here, from pieces to live on somewhere else to ones that are now part of the building. Some artists have even used what was left over from Goodyear, from the 68-foot steel sculpture made of tire racks that burst through the wall to this bird-like creature on the back of the building made up of cut-up tires. And what would an old tire center be without a good old tire swing? This has been great because it's, we are right smack uptown, in the middle of uptown, and artists, creatives don't get a chance to play in a building and put on showcases in a building that's, you know, surrounded by skyscrapers. The artists totally exceeded all of our expectations. They made such a huge impact on this building, and throughout the course of the program, we've seen such an amazing community support that we were not expecting in any way. It's been incredible to have this access and to see this happen. And the artists have made just the most impressive work in such short time periods that it has borne out our promise that if artists are given space and money and time, they'll do cool things. A number of open houses gave them the ability to show off their creations. One of the things that was really interesting that I didn't anticipate was the broad array of folks that have come in. So it hasn't just been painters and sculptors. They've had performance artists. They've had musicians. I had an artist friend tell me the other day, I'm so happy y'all did this because I didn't think Charlotte would be up for something like this. And now I like it here more. But when the building comes down, so will the art. What started as a three month deal has lasted now more than seven months as delays in planning have allowed artists to continue creating. But in February, it's all set to end. Water, power, and heat are set to be shut off, and plans for the $300 million Tryon place will move ahead. The project consists of an office tower, hotel, parking deck, retail space, restaurants, and a public plaza. And because of the success of the Skyline Artist Project, developers want to make sure to incorporate artistic elements. How do we activate the space with art and creativity? And that's a part of what we're, you know, what will be a part of that master plan is, is bringing some of those elements back into the to the plaza once the buildings are built. Now that the Skyline project is ending, artists are thankful for the opportunity, sad to see it go, and know what's ahead. And to watch it go down in a ball of flames is, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's going to be an interesting experience. So it will be sad to see it go, but our hope is that we're going to move this project forward into some other location and that the energy behind the project, the thing that we really don't want to lose, won't be lost. It needs to happen again. So much energy came in and through and out of this project. The Skyline artists say they would jump at the chance to use another vacated building, 
but would love to see something permanent for Charlotte's art scene. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting. Thanks so much.